I used to use LUT Utility by Color Grading Central. And as you can see here, once you start adding many, many LUTs, uh, they become very difficult to find and use. You can see I've got hundreds and hundreds in here and trying to find the correct one uh, was a nightmare because you couldn't view them and also you couldn't group them into uh, individual folders to represent certain cameras or film stocks. But now uh, all of that has changed. So let's have a look at Color Grading Central's new LUT gallery, which is available for Final Cut Pro 10 as well as DaVinci Resolve as long as you're running the Macintosh version of that program. So let's just see exactly how it works. So I've got a clip here in Final Cut Pro. This was shot in uh, Arri Log C. So I can just take this and I'll just put down multiple clips onto my timeline. So I've got my clip here. So what I can do is then go to my effects browser and you'll see I've got light gallery here so all I have to do is drag and drop and then you'll see it comes up with this little interface window now um, there's no LUTs here so I want to change the group and you'll see here I've got all these different folders with different LUTs in them so I want to apply an ARRI LUT so I click on my ARRI and here is all my different uh, LUTs that are available that I have loaded up for ARRI uh, cameras to use and you can see I can see a real-time preview in here of um, exactly what they're going to look like I can actually go in and have an even more detailed look as it as a four uh, four up display at any one time here in the window so I can see what I'd like to um, apply so I've got all these different versions here and if I want to go back out again Sorry, expand, I can go back and I can see more. So it's showing me all these different versions and if I scrub through my clip, I can see exactly what they're all going to look like. So for instance, if I wanted to uh, apply one of these LUTs, I can go up here and then if I click on the gray bar below here, and you'll see I've now applied that particular LUT um, to my footage. Again, if I want to go to another one, I can do the same thing, double click or drag across and then I can go back in and I can have a look at another one for instance. So say I want to use, um, let's have a look what we've got here, say this one here. So I've applied that one, I've applied that one. Now if I want to, I'll just do one more for you so you can see. If I go back in again, open this up, and we'll find something else. Uh, what about this one here? So I'll just double click on there. So I've got one on here now, completely different look again. Now if I want to change this, very easy to do. I can just hit the edit button up in the top window here, and then I can then just select another one, and it will jump back um, to that particular a lot so really easy uh, to use so let's just have a look at the three different versions we've got here this one here once I go back as you've seen if I go back to the edit then I can't just get out of it I do need to um, you can just control Z to get back out of out of that one so here's my different LUTs so inside LUT gallery you also get this thing called white balance so I can click on here and then it brings up this white balance window and then I just select the color picker and you'll see I can select what I want to pick here as white so he's wearing this white mask here so if I click on there you can see um, what it's done now this is not necessarily going to work very well in this case because we're outside under a very mixed uh, lighting conditions at night and white is not going to appear to to be white in this circumstance but if I find um, another shot for instance so we will go just here and I'll just take a little shot from there and I'll add that down to the timeline and then now if I want to, um, you know, I don't have to use this with LUT gallery. I can just take the white balance and actually apply it directly um, to this clip. And then you can see what I can do is I can take and I can find something that's white. So say her bag here. 
and click on it and you'll see there you go it's now corrected white back to being white and up here you can make exposure color temperature and tint changes um, depending on what you would like I can then go ahead and then open up a, a LUT as well and then change that so I'll just pick a regular log C to rec 709 and up you go now you can see white is white if I then take this off you'll see the difference I can make it cooler warmer really depends on what I want to mix as you can see I probably like it slightly warmer so I'd probably have it about there somewhere so if we take off the effects you can see my before and after so that's white picker and that's a quick look at LUT gallery very easy to use um, I highly recommend it uh, if you're not doing a lot of serious color grading or color correction then uh, you know using something like LUTs is a really easy way of getting uh, good results with your vision very quickly and LUT gallery uh, enables you to to do that and to also you know see all those different LUTs here as you can see and then make a choice and, and, and do a real-time preview without having to just drag a LUT on there and then have a look what it looks like and then decide you want to change your mind.